local weather authority. Always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. There's a few spotty downpours around the area, one of which is just west of Jefferson Forest High. This should stay to your north and west toward Big Island and moving along 501. This should stay east of Buena Vista. However, we are tracking a shower that kind of has fizzled out here near Clearbrook and near Cave Springs. So that at least uh, decent news for any kind of plans if you have them in the Roanoke Valley. But lots of heavy rain approaching uh, I-64. Also areas just around Rafine that continuing to move northeast into Augusta County. Farther to the south, Heavy rain near Magna Vista. This is going to continue to move north and east toward the Pennsylvania and uh, Henry County line. So this may start to get closer to areas like Cascade and Axton within the next 30 to 45 minutes. One last downpour along 360 just west of South Boston, not really moving, and this is showing signs of fizzling out as well. So for the rest of today, what you see is what you get. Just some very hit or miss showers and thunderstorms for the next few hours. Then as we get closer to sunset, I think the chance is still there, but it's going to be farther north closer to I-64. I do think we have a lot of cloud cover tonight, so if you're trying to look for the Neowise Comet tonight, probably not the best night. However, if you do get a break in the clouds between 1035 and 1153 is when this is faintly visible to the naked eye. You may want to avoid city lights and use binoculars if you're looking for that. But again, I do think we're partly to mostly cloudy tonight, and man, we are muggy out there. You step outside and it just feels like you are literally stepping into air you can wear. That's going to be the case tonight as temperatures fall only into the upper 60s and lower 70s. So that sets the tone for tomorrow. I want you to take a look at this graph here. You got the red. That's the forecast air temperature, the pink. That's the heat index or what it would feel like with the humidity and prior to any storms tomorrow it will feel like the lower 90s in the NRV middle 90s in parts of the highlands in Roanoke Valley could feel like the upper 90s to near triple digits in areas like Lynchburg and Southside. Again, that being prior to any storms that we see. Around 7 a.m. we could see a few showers in the highlands and then by around lunchtime that's when we start to see things picking up along a front that's going to be moving from northwest to southeast. So around 2, 3, 4 p.m. could easily see a few showers and thunderstorms close to 460. It's really after about 3 or 4 p.m. that these really could start to strengthen a little bit as they move into that hot air, especially south of US 460. So that could be areas like Smith Mountain Lake, Martinsville, Danville, South Boston. So anything we see could wind up producing localized tree damage, maybe even some hail. But as far as flooding goes, most storms tomorrow are going to be moving quickly on top of a fairly dry ground. So we may spend a limited amount of time outside tomorrow and also Saturday, though Saturday looks like the better chance of storms pretty much any time of day is going to be south of US 460. We're trending hot and dry for Sunday. So your extended forecast for the New River Valley, keeping at least the chance for a couple spotty showers and storms Saturday and Sunday. Otherwise, the heat is the main story into early next week. Even in the New River Valley, temperatures 85 to 90 lows each night around 65 to 70. That's when you know it's humid when the overnight lows don't cool down very much. And you see that here in the Roanoke Valley extended forecast with high temperatures, upper 80s and low to mid 90s throughout the area through the weekend. Less of a chance of storms on Sunday with the daily shot through early next week.